A Ugandan court has ordered the deportation of a British man facing criminal charges related to images of him having sex with another man. Photos were allegedly discovered when thieves broke into his home and stole his laptop before sending the pictures to a Ugandan newspaper which published them. Homosexuality is criminalized in Uganda, where lawmakers last month passed a new bill that prescribes life imprisonment for aggravated homosexual acts. The bill, which appears to have wide support among Ugandans, has been opposed by rights groups as draconian. The Briton Bernard Randall was charged last year with trafficking obscene material. While homosexuals are increasingly under pressure on the African continent, a leading Kenyan author has declared that he is gay, making him one of the most high-profile Africans to do so. Binyavanga Wainaina came out this week in an article called I am a homosexual mum to coincide with his 43rd birthday on 18th January. So I just came out, I came out because I'm just like, you know, people have dignity. All people have dignity. There's nobody who's born without a soul and a spirit. There's nobody who's a beast or an animal, right? Everyone, we, we homosexuals are people, right? And we need our oxygen to breathe. Now, I'm quite fine with somebody saying, uh, you're an abomination. Say in your house, you can go say it whatever you want to say it, right? But don't come with stones and sticks and laws, right? To try and delete things that are in front of you. Homosexual acts are illegal in Kenya and many other African countries, and the repercussions of this keeps Wanaina up at night. Like you're like, I can't sleep at night because the people who I may know or who I don't even know yet, right, who may be dying or being beaten or being tortured right now in a Nigerian cell, or three weeks ago a Ugandan one, or then where next and why, you know. The Kenyan author also said the hatred against gays in Russia was similar to what the Jews experienced under the Nazis. It is not surprising that gays are the new Jews or blacks of St. Petersburg, of Russia. <laughs> that thing works the same way, you know. In those same Nazi camps, as people call gays and lesbians an abomination, who are black people and homosexuals, who are dying there, as well as Jews. You know, that language is very familiar. Why Nina's decision comes amid a growing debate about gay rights in a number of African countries. He believes it is being fueled by politicians as a cheap, easy way to score points with the electorate.